set up the cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with the time. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Attention citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed for a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest, the Lord and the Lord Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton. For respect during this time of mourning. Attention Dunwall citizens. funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. delayed indefinitely. Until then, citizens cross at their own risk. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite.
The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one. And rights of others in these trying times, and preserving the timeless beauty of our affairs. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Dunwall citizens, you are required to boil any water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must... Can't you see? I'm about to bathe. Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. Ugh. I feel dirtier than when I started. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wines. 
I understand your decision to tell Callista. Far be it from me to criticize a man of your well-known capacities. My arc pylon will eclipse the old Sokolov model. Did you do that? I understand your decision to tell Callista. Far be it from me to criticize him well-known capacities. I understand your decision to tell Callista. Far be it from me to create. Pylon will eclipse the old Sokolov model. I speculated this impact. You require my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Great, the Lord Regent's pulling out all the 
of stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folks of all of you. Better do than me. Is that what you dreamed of, all those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the Executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tivian wine? And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. same sense. So 
inside. Never. Oh, I... Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happened to this city. Pendleton? Is that you? Are you looking forward to the party? Oh, that's an awful mess. Where can I get one? Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be... Go home. I'll struggle. Invitation, once please. We locate the wine. Moral takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we need her out by the curb. Well, right this way, sir. And I waited out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here, as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma Stein. Lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a hand. Look at that mask. Sick One bastard. Welcome, sir. Oh, and we have a game tonight. Esma, Lydia, and Waverly are wearing identical costumes in white, black, and red. You'll have to work out which of your hosts is wearing which color. Good luck. Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now... What is it tonight? Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical. But one's in red, one's in black, one's in white. There's a prize at the end. The Boyle cameo. As if it was in <laughs> Then again, the cameo is one. That's wicked. Who made that Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get a on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. Another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. <laughs> 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 
What most people don't remember. Cunning costumes. But you, there must sir, be a way to the hand tattoo. They say Put Lydia's the sloppy away. one. Unless you feel like tangling with the watch. Step back, sir. Or I is it the other way around? Acquainted. What can I get if for only you? I could peek upstairs. Careful, upstairs. sir. You look like the dangerous type. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. Anything you need, sir. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I... You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. Excuse me. We found out what the whales could do, and it... Excuse me. Come and inter... Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in white. Hold on, I need a cigar. Please, do you mind one not sister's interrupting in us? One in red, one in white, one in black. I'm stunned. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. But I don't like the looks of those guards. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Esma. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar and I will... Her safe with me forever. Doing all right there. Oh, hello, handsome. I'm already seeing two of you, but thanks anyway. Silly, she's wearing red tonight. <laughs> oh my word, I wasn't supposed to say, was I? Lydia and Waverly will be so furious. This is exactly what they said would happen. That sounds lovely. Why don't you come with me? You Enjoy, my darling, don't you? The new applicant 
it's as weak as the last set. Yes, you I'm sure in a few drinks I'll find that mask funny. Now where have my friends gone? Oh, there you are. That's quite a mask. Are you on Who the guest list? Him, I wonder. I do hope it wasn't Mrs. Brimsley. Evening, madame. So many choices tonight. You know, I have a dirty little secret. You can't imagine who I'm seeing. I mean, if people only knew. But I'm only doing it to ensure the family name. It's too dangerous right now not to have proper By the connections. Have another garden party. Like last year. Truthfully, if I could get free of him, I would. You're more my type. Mysterious, silent, self-composed. I do believe this is going to be a fabulous evening. Doing. You're supposed to be after me. What shall we do with ourselves? Damn it! D Anything. The Boyle cameo is in the attic last I checked. Just please don't hurt me. Get her on board. Last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you made me. Someday.
get her on board. Last, oh my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. 